Hi, I hope you're having a wonderful day today. It has been a while since I have sat down and done a true video for you. I have had a lot going on. I hope you've all been doing good. So today's gonna be kind of a different sort of a haul video. I am gonna be sharing some very, very good low-end priced items all the way up to some high priced items and one that is an amazing hack for a very expensive handbag. I am gonna be sharing with you my most inexpensive handbag unboxing that I have ever shared ever on this channel. And I'm also gonna be sharing with you my number one most used handbag that is the least expensive bag I have ever bought in my life. <laughs> so, if I just it cracks me up because you'll see why in just a moment if you are new to my channel my name is Melinda if you're returning thank you so much for coming back if you haven't done so already I'd love it if you could just take one moment and hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification because YouTube has these algorithms where they like you to post at the same time and my life is really really crazy right now so as y'all know uploads are always very uh, different days different times and so it helps if you don't want to miss a video. So let's get into my most least expensive handbag unboxing. I don't have a box, I don't have a dust bag, it came in a plastic bag, in a plastic bag and a plastic bag. <laughs> so I've already removed those and it is from, I got so much stuff on my desk here. It is from Jansport, and I do have some mod shots. I am in a completely different outfit. As I said, like the life has been insane, and I just I had a day, and um, I just came in here and did mod shots because, as I've told many of you in the past, this is a guest room, and I've had a lot of guests. And when I film, that bed is just full of everything, and I did my mod shots in a mirror over here, so it's just it was easy to get it done. But this was you ready for the price? $23 with tax and shipping. I forget the exact name of it. I think it's just the mini um, back, backpack. I'm, I'm not sure. I will put the exact name and I will link it down below. I'm gonna tell you why I purchased this. I recently went to Disneyland with my daughters and I was debating what bag I wanted to bring with me and I had been saving this bag. I got this I don't know, several years ago, it's from Kate Spade, it's the Polly backpack, and I decided this was what I was gonna bring. It made me insanely crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but it's, I'll, I'll probably donate it. It made me nuts. These straps, oh my gosh, what a mess these straps are. You had to constantly keep adjusting them. They do have the little tab that will keep it, but it doesn't keep it. It kept falling out. So yes, this is what I took to Disneyland and it drove me up the wall. So I started immediately looking for backpacks when I got home. And I was looking at high-end designer backpacks. I was looking at Gucci. I was looking at, um, well, I looked at Louis Vuitton, but <laughs> briefly, <laughs> I was like, no, no, I'm not spending that much. Then I remembered my most favorite bag that I, I did bring this one with me to Disney. I'll show it to you in a minute, but there's a reason I didn't wear it. And I went on Jan Sport and I was like, okay, this is great. There's a ton of colors. It weighs absolutely nothing. It is nylon. It is absolutely perfect for a theme park. You've got this little compartment here. And actually the tags are still on it. Ah, it is called the Half Pint. Aha, the Half Pint backpack. Um, Yes, I have not, I haven't used it. This will be my next time I go to Disneyland, which I think we're gonna go back. I'm not sure, we haven't quite gotten what month, but we're gonna go back this year, uh, but with my husband. But, so you got that little split park up there. You have one here, which, you know, if you wanted to put some gum or something, you weren't worried about, you know, having that on your back. And then this one opens. My problem with that one is it, it barely opened. It kind of reminds me when I see people with videos of the, the Palm Springs, I threw it down here because I was mad at it. <laughs> the Palm Springs Mini. This is how far it opens. Annoying, annoying, annoying. So this opens really, really far. These straps are attached, so you can adjust them. And you've got the little top handle here. And the best part about it was it fits my water bottle. So this actually, if I was 
including this as part of this haul, would be my least expensive item. Uh, me and my daughters picked up these Brita uh, filter water bottles. I, I drink water. If you watch my vlog, the first thing I do whenever I get to um, a hotel is either me or my husband will go and buy water. Well, we were staying at the park and Disney is pretty known for having um, Smart Water and Dasani. Mm, and it's about $8 <laughs> a bottle. This paid for itself in the first day. And of course it did not fit in my backpack, so I had bought my daughter the Kate Spade um, Minnie Mouse. And so she brought hers and we shared, but easily fits down in there. So I'm really excited about this, excited about the price. I don't care if it gets wet. We got soaked on Pirates of the Caribbean and I you know, $23. And it's super cute too. So I will link this down below if you're interested in one of these. The water, we just got water out of the tap in the hotel room and um, at water fountains and it worked great. And I'm, I'm a little bit of a water snob. So my most used bag, just really quickly, is one, a, a bad style, a style of bag that I have consistently said I do not like. It is my chance sport bum bag. I don't I don't think they're cute here. I, I will never think they're cute here. I use this bag almost every single day. I got this for ten dollars on sale a couple of years ago and I brought this to the park and I easily could have worn this instead of that one but I have sciatica and I wasn't sure because I wear this every single day when I take a walk because women's Workout wear usually does not have any pockets, but I was a little bit concerned about wearing it around my hips, walking around all day having sciatica, but they do have this style on there still. I think it's $20, and um, it just has a big compartment here, and then there's one here, and I put all the things from my backpack into here and it fit perfectly, but I was just nervous if I got out and about and was walking for several hours if I started to hurt that I'd have to go back to the room, and I knew the backpack wouldn't hurt my back at all, so that is my actual most used bag, $10, <laughs> I kid you not. <laughs> so the next thing, I have them written down in order of how much they were. I picked up a new um, Gucci lipstick, and this is the one I have on today. This is the second one I've got, and I love their lipsticks, and the name of this is Love Is Better. I wrote it down so I wouldn't have to squint for y'all, but I love their packaging. It's so pretty with the flowers on it, the roses, and it looks really dark. You can see it's on me, and it's not. It's a sheer color. It's really, really pretty. Uh, add a little more here, but that is the color, and this came in at $42. But I did get a little savings on that, which I will share with you in just a moment. The next thing I want to share with you is another more low-end product. I love this so much. I bought two of these last summer. I got pink and navy. And this spring, I have bought ivory and black. And I'm pretty share, share, sure that I shared these on a video last year with you. They are the Skechers Go Walk. Archfit. These are the most comfortable flip-flop I have ever worn. I love flip-flops. I love them. I love them. I love them. And you're never going to get me out of them. I have had plantar fasciitis in the past. It is completely gone. Thank goodness. If you suffer with that, you know how painful that can be. But these shoes were amazing. Let me show you on the lighter colors so you can see. It's just got a little bit of glitter through here and you can see it's built like a tennis shoe. It really does have arch support. I can walk 18,000 steps a day in Las Vegas in these, or what we did at Disneyland, although I would not wear an open toe sandal at Disneyland, um, but, <laughs> but I could definitely do that with these shoes. They are that comfortable. So if you have foot issues like I do and have trouble finding comfortable sandals. And I have actually worn my navy pair with some maxi dresses because you really don't see that much of them. You just kind of a little bit of the sparkle comes out. There is the black one. So you can definitely get away with wearing these with, I mean, not like fancy dresses, but you know, some daytime dresses. 
I love these. I cannot recommend them enough. These never go on sale. They are never part of their um, coupon promotion. I did get 10% off on the backpack and I am going to tell you how I got a discount on the Gucci as well. Um, but these are worth it. They are, I wrote down all my prices here so I can share with you. They're $64 a piece. 1000% worth it. Worth it, worth it, worth it. I will be buying these as long as they make them. Oh, something interesting to note that I just saw. So on the black, black one here, you just got a little silver S there. And on the beige one, it's in a gold, like kind of shimmery glitter. So, but they're subtle. I, I don't think they're too glittery. So let me grab the other uh, two items. Okay, so the next one is from House of Siage. I love House of Siage. I have been purchasing from them for several years now. I can't, I'm not good at remembering what year, but I started with their lipstick. I have another perfume and I purchased this perfume. It comes so beautifully packaged. You open up the lid and it is like a cupcake. And then this part pulls down and there is your beautiful fragrance. Pull this out and you've got Swarovski crystals on the top and all the way around the side there. And then it says House of Siage here in the front. This one is Whispers of Strength and make sure I'm saying this all right. You get a little uh, microfiber cloth to keep the top of it and then you get the little um, authenticity card with care instructions here and so the way I was able to save uh, money on the Gucci is uh, Bergdorf Goodman had a hundred dollars off of a four hundred dollar purchase this goes for three hundred and sixty dollars and this is forty two dollars so I was able to get a hundred dollars off of my total purchase and I have been wanting this scent for such a long time. It's the one I have on today. I am not by any means the best person at describing scents, even though I'm like a super taster, super smeller, <laughs> but I could never work in that field because I can't describe it very well. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous floral. It is not heavy. It is not sickly sweet. Um, the top notes, um, some of them, I didn't write all of them down, white plumeria flower and then the middle jasmine and vanilla is one of the bottom notes. There's other notes of course in there, but this is what I have on today. You can't smell me, but if you could, I smell really good. <laughs> this is just an amazing scent and yeah, I was just like, I wanted it for a long time and I'm like, that's a lot of money for perfume. It's a whole lot of money for perfume when I have a whole lot of perfume, <laughs> but if you sign up for some of these websites, um, you do get deals like this here and there. And it was on beauty specifically. So, and it worked with both of these brands, which I was really surprised about. I'm gonna sit this back here just to make sure that I don't knock it over or do anything that I shouldn't do. So now let's get into the Gucci. This was an amazing find, I think, personally, I think. I did get this before the price increase. It was a very minimal price increase. I will share that with you. It comes with the Gucci dust bag. And I got the Gucci Ophidia pouch. And I think this is absolutely beautiful. So I paid $780 for this. It has gone up. Um, I've had these things for a while because like, I haven't been filming. I filmed prior to the wedding and it's been a little while. So um, I paid um, 780, it's gone up $30 to 810. That's when you look at some of these other fashion houses, $30 really isn't that bad. But what I think is so cool about this and what I'm gonna share with you, I'm gonna share a picture of it. First, I wanna give you the price. There is a bag that looks identical. It is not identical. It is a shoulder bag and it is um, $1,850. This one is $810. So that one, even though on the website, if you look at it head on, it looks the same. It's not, it has a magnetic opening on either side, whereas this one has a zip opening. And I did look at the measurements on both. This one is 10.6 by 8.3 by 275. 
and the handbag that comes with the strap is 10.24 by 6.89 by 3.15. Super similar. But what I have found in the past, in general for me, I find that one open compartment fits a whole lot more than two split compartments. So this one, get the tissue out of here, has a microfiber lining and it's just one open compartment with a slit compartment back here. And in here you have the Gucci little care booklets. And then down in this box, I have the, there was the tag. Uh, it just says beige multi pouches, but I will, I will link it down below. But what I thought was neat about this one, and this is not a sponsored video, nobody is paying me to do this, I just thought it was really cool, is that you can turn this into a handbag. Now a lot of people have been turning this one into a handbag for a long time, the Toiletry 26. I personally have never liked this one as a handbag, I've used it as a clutch once. But I am going to show you comparisons of both and I found a way to make this one a super cute handbag should you own this one. When this one comes back out they have discontinued it. It is going to be very similar to this one in that it is going to have leather on the sides and the inside is going to have credit card slots. I don't know if the inside is still going to be the, um, the wipeable microfiber lining, uh, not microfiber, the wipeable lining or what, I have no idea, but it'll be similar to the one that's in the men's line. So when this comes out again, it'll be 1,080. So this is still a much better deal at $810. So I'm gonna share with you, I had reached out to Zamoni and asked if they would be willing to make me an organizer for this bag that I could convert it into a handbag. And they said yes, they gifted this to me. Um, this is not sponsored, they are not paying me, but they did gift this to me, so I wanna be up front with you. This color is Jasper Tan, and I gave them the dimensions, and I was quite nervous about giving them the dimensions. I'm like, I hope I got it right, I hope I got it right. And they know what they're doing when they ask you to measure because they like, we're gonna have you give us the measurements and then we'll take you know a little bit off here and there and it is the absolute perfect fit. And then I have the strap, let's see, it's this one. This is from Organize My Bag and I reached out to them as well and asked for a strap for this video and they also gifted this to me but they are not sponsoring this video. But this is their newest crossbody strap <laughs> which is the larger oval I have a smaller oval that you've probably seen in some other videos. So I'm just gonna show you how to do this. It is super simple. I put the organizer down in there. Let me set part of the chain here. So you go through the part here where the zipper is and you just hook it onto the little D-ring, which I will show you up close in just a second. Yeah, there we go. You see that on there? So it's just hooked to the D-ring. Then just bring this one over, or did I do it backwards? No, I didn't, I'm doing it right. <laughs> then bring this one over the top portion of the bag and you hook it onto the other D-ring. And I am gonna be inserting mod shots of this. And again, totally different outfit, um, totally different day and yeah. So that is what it looks like. And you can get a shorter strap if you wanna make it a shoulder bag. You can get a chunkier strap if you want to do that. And I will um, turn this camera around in just a minute and show you what fits inside of this because the day that I tried my things in this, I was able to take everything out of my handbag that I was carrying and put it all in here. And I've been wanting something from the Ophidia line. Many of you might have seen that I purchased something last fall. Um, I don't even know the name of the bag, but it was a crossbody bag with a magnetic closure and the closure just, it was difficult and I ended up returning it, never using it, returning it and it had some issues with the leather that they told me was normal and it wasn't normal because I'd never used it, but I think that this one looks much more handbag-like because of the webbing and because they have a handbag that looks exactly like this. <laughs> so it's an amazing cheat to get a bag for 810 versus 1,850. And plus you can also use this one 
multiple ways. If you did want to use it as a clutch, if you did want to use it as a makeup bag, as a travel bag, I mean, it's very, very versatile. You have the leather here on both sides. You have the leather here on the tab, and it doesn't say anything on the tab. Of course, your two Gs in the front, and Gucci is all made in Italy. So I'm gonna show you quickly on the um, Toiletry 26. I will show you in the mod shots, and I will show you also why I think it looks so much cuter as a handbag this particular way. So take the strap off. So I also wanted to show you that this strap, and I will insert some mod shots right now while I am arranging this other bag. I um, took my mini pochettes and I turned these into crossbody bags with that strap. And by the way, this little mini pochette is now $745. The Mon Monogram is $925. But there's a lot of times when I'm out running errands that that is the bag that I will carry and I will just like pop my sunglasses on top of my head when I run in the store or something and I'll have my keys, my credit card, and that would be the only bag that I bring with me. So it's nice to have the option to put it as a crossbody bag if you would like to. So this one, I also have the organizer from Simone pull this out and show you real fast. This one is the color custard cream. This one they do have on their website standard. They will uh, make organizers. Uh, you have to give them the dimensions like I said, but this one they have uh, ready to ship on their website. So there it is like that. And again, I think a little bit boring to be honest, especially next to this one, but I got another strap from Organize My Bag, and this one I think is the game changer, and it makes it just, I think, so cute. So, get that in there, put that on, and hopefully I'm showing you clips of anything besides me doing this right now. <laughs> hopefully, I got the clip of the bag up. So this is a shorter strap. This one is 22 inches. Let's show that to you. There you go. Isn't that so much cuter? And so when you have this one, if you want to just take it and just put it on the crook of your arm, or you can do, as I show you in the video, you can do a shoulder bag with this, and I can do this with both of them. Um, I would probably personally go a little bit longer. This length I think would be a lot better on the mini pochette, but uh, pochette, pochette, whatever, you know what I mean. So, but I think that just having this little bit of gold draped across the front of it. I think it just makes it, let me turn it around where the LVs are facing the right way. I think it just makes it so much cuter. It just gives it something because it's just, it's kind of plain. So I'm going to turn the camera around right now and I'm going to show you what fits in the Gucci. Okay, so I just pulled everything out of my handbag and um, that is an extra glasses pouch, which I don't have my glasses um, that go in that pouch, so I'm not gonna try to fit that in today. But let's see what we can do here. So, and also something to point out because the inside of this, let me show you a good close up of that. It's like a, like a peachy um, microfiber. So if you did wanna use this as a makeup bag, this is a fabulous thing to put in it. So you're not worried about that, you know, if anything does spill getting on the lining of your bag. So the first thing I have is my mini pochette. Put that down in there. And I have my iPhone 12 Pro, put that down in there. I am using my Louis Vuitton Zoe wallet. Fits down in there. And I have my Louis Vuitton clay that down in there. I have my Hermes Bastia that fits in there and then I have my gum which will go in this little back pocket here and I have my hand sanitizer. You know I don't like carrying liquid sanitizer. I love these wipes. They're so much better. And then on the top here just throw in my tissue and my sunglasses. Let's see if that zips. It does, and it is not over bulging. It's not over extended. The zipper is fine, and it holds. I mean, that holds a lot. 
So I also put the shorter strap on this one just so you could see what this one looks like. Um, I do have on like a very bulky sweater, so um, I can use this one as a shoulder bag as well. But again, I wouldn't, it's, it's like way up there, but you could do it. But if you wanted to carry this bag as a clutch and you wanted an option, should you need to have your hands free, you know, you could always put it on the crook of your arm or your shoulder for a moment while you need to do something and then take it back off. But again, I think it looks really pretty with the chain draped on the front like this. I have just never been a fan of converting things into purposes that they weren't for. But until I saw this one, I'm like, seriously, that's a huge savings on handbag. And it probably, I can't tell you because I haven't tried the other one, but my guess is that this probably fits more just because they have similar dimensions and the other one has two sides to it. But perhaps that one fits more. I, I don't know. I don't have it. <laughs> I don't intend on getting it. I enjoy this one a lot. I will link it down below if you're interested in it. But yeah, kind of like a very uh, mixed up, mashed up haul today. I hope you have an amazing day today. Take care. Bye-bye.